is very busy. I have a booming business there. I have yeah. all my friends there. That's uh-huh. where I, I, I came, when I went come from Jamaica, that's where I went. And I, I know so much about there and everything. Yeah. But cost of living uh, in Ontario is course. so high. Yeah. And I'm like, my mortgage is like 500000 oh less than what I did have there. What, what year was this though? I moved here last year. Oh, you came last year? Yeah. yeah. You like it there, you're long. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, you're pretty new to Edmonton. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. So, so cost of living in Ontario is very high. Yeah. You will get like a very small house in the millions. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And I have a huge family, I think, because I'm a mom of four. And yeah. I have my husband said, so I'm a family of six. Yeah. And I need like a five, six bedroom house. Oh, wow. So... Yeah, so it's really common. Yeah, I choose to move in. When I think about having like an 800 and something thousand mortgage, My God. and uh, it's going to take me 30 years to pay that off, and I could choose to mm-hmm. move somewhere else in yeah. Canada. Still have all my benefits, still have my business, and yeah. a lot of 500,000 less mortgage. So I choose Edmonton. So, I mean, I'm trying to make a comparison because I want this information to be out there. Living in Ontario compared to living in Edmonton, what would, what would your comparison be? Just, just, just for information's sake. In terms of, okay, so what I mean by that is, I know the economy is crazy in terms of cost of living. Mm-hmm. But culture-wise and, you know, how people work, how communities were, how the business was, I mean, all of that was okay otherwise, right? Yes, it was that? okay. As Toronto is a more diverse, multicultural, um, co- yeah. multicultural community. Mm-hmm. Um, there's places in Ontario that you don't feel like, like Jane and Finch. <laughs> you don't feel like you leave Jamaica and oh stuff, yeah. yeah. And it, it's more multicultural. But when you come, yeah. when I move here now, uh-huh. I have to make like some adjustment to the Call, it's a bit different of to course, be honest yeah, it is amazing. a bit different and there is more people there mm-hmm. you make more business there mm-hmm. you make more friends there so but it's, it's a little bit slower here but oh, okay. as everyone want to save and everyone want to accomplish more yeah. i would tell them choose alberta so most of your so your clients uh, have they decided to move this side or just, what, what I have more than 20 clients yeah. that actually move here within Already? a year. When you move, you pull them over with you. Is yeah. that... <laughs> and now my mom and dad yeah. move in here too as well. So you are, And so my sister move here as well. I, I was telling my friends you know, that since COVID, uh, I'm going to say maybe 2021 until now, I feel like there's been a mass migration from Toronto it is. to Edmonton or in our parts of Alberta. It is because there were advertisements on the radio that yeah. asking Ontarians to move here. Wow. So, okay. So I'm seeing Ontario turning into what? Just for the richer class? Is that what it's... A, is, is the that... richer class is even trying to move out to, to make more money. A lot of um, housing here yeah. and um, like other investment. A lot of realtors in Ontario they buy in Edmonton and Calgary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but Angel, if you think about it, it's probably a matter of time before real estate here or living here goes up to as well. It will. You think it about will. Just give it ten more years, yeah. and it's gonna be the new Ontario. 